it's really nice to see all the members of the Prime CTD Consortium here in Valencia. We've been working for one year, we've made a lot of progress, and it's nice to share the results that we have generated with the consortium. It's building up on some of the lessons and learnings we had on a previous IMI project that was called Beat DKD. So it's really, really nice to see that some of those very preliminary discoveries that we made in BTKD, now they're being capitalized and take a step further closer to the patients and closer to the real care. We've made a lot of progress in the first year. In Work Package 1, we initiated and completed a prospective clinical study to look at the clinical chemistry aspects of the two biomarkers that we are validating. We have started the work in Work Package 2. We have initiated a clinical trial in Work Package 3. We just heard that Work Package 4 is making a lot of progress. And then finally, Work Package 5, where we do the clinical implementation, is preparing their work as well. So overall, a lot of progress, and we are all excited. For a long time, we did not have a very good medical concept for patients with CKD. And then within the last years, we had a major development of important medication for those patients. But currently, we're not able to predict what patients are going to benefit from this medication. And we are aiming to find biomarkers that give us the option to predict who is going to benefit from this medication. The prospective clinical trial with Package 3 is a clinical trial that evaluates a biomarker-guided treatment strategy versus a usual care strategy. And this is the first biomarker-guided clinical trial in nephrology. And I hope that we can show that a biomarker-guided treatment approach where we can individualize the treatment will slow the progression of kidney function decline in patients with chronic kidney disease. The name of the trial of the work package 3 is the CKD Biomatch and it is focused on selecting the true drug for each patient based on the level and the change of the level of biomarkers in urine. They are building blocks that build on each other. So work package 5 comes a bit later and it's meant to be learning from some of the experiences or results that we're getting along the way from the other work packages. So the study is called REAL and it's meant to be testing whether at all it is possible to implement these kind of studies in which we monitor and we are doing a more personalized management of CKD, whether at all that is possible. We are going to be talking with the patients, with um, doctors, with nurses, with lab technicians, with everybody that is needed to, to complete the study and see from their perspective whether there are any bottlenecks or any things that we need to think about when we are implementing this new way of, of treating and management and managing CKD. In the next year, we will evaluate the results that we have generated in Work Package 1. I think we will see the first publications really from Prime CKD in the next year. And more importantly, Work Package 3, which is basically the, the key clinical trial that we are doing, will be initiated. And next year, I hope to say that we can have enrolled 40 to 50 patients in our prospective clinical trial. So we'll be excited to see how much progress we can make in the next year.